Wow. Unbelievable, man. Um, when I got in a situation where I was doing videos and stuff because it's Sunday, it's my NFL day, never did I think I will have to stop the games to come over here and, you know, get involved in this here. But here we are, you know. Um, it's pretty nuts. Uh, but once again, here we are, you know. Um, someone who is allegedly the sister of Kawhi Leonard named Kamisha Monet Williams. And she's being told, and everybody, she's saying it, Kawhi has not spoke and not has claimed her in any way, shape, or form. Says she's, it's being reported, too, that she is the sister of Los Angeles Clipper forward Kawhi Leonard. Uh, she was charged with robbing and murdering an 84-year-old woman, according to the reports. Uh, Kawhi Leonard's sister is accused of killing uh, Alpha Inez Assad, who was 84, in Temecula, California. Um, at, I think at the what casino? Oh man, so she was at the Pachanga then. Yeah, there it was, Pachanga Resort Casino. My goodness. Uh, Williams, 35, and her pal, Candace Ty Townsend, who's 39, allegedly follow aside into a bathroom at the Pachanga where they bashed her head in and stole her purse, containing $800 to $1,200. The outlet reported Williams was arrested on September the 3rd and aside died on September the 4th. Williams' aunt, who was Denise Woodard, confirmed that Williams is Leonard's sister, but tried to distance him from the incident. He didn't have anything to do with this, Woodard told the paper. Williams is being held without bond in NDO Correctional Facility. Investigators requested that she be held because they're concerned for her well-off, you know, family would post bail and that she would skip town or hurt somebody else. So they requesting no bail to ensure that Williams appear in court and to keep innocent victims safe. So a Riverside County Sheriff investigator came through with a written request to a judge and didn't mention in any particular order any relatives names or anything like that according to the uh, press enterprise that's what had the story Kawhi Leonard name was not mentioned but she's expected to be arraigned on September the 19th can you believe this people are gonna be who they are alright so let's get that assessed right now we can't you can't change people You know, people are going to be who they are. You can change them on the outside, but on the inside, they have to want to change. They have to want to be different people. And just because Kawhi Leonard might be related to them, it doesn't even, you know, dignify or explain the relationship. We know that fathers have children all over this planet. The brothers and sisters try to keep in contact, but they might not be close. You know, that's just the way it is. It's not nothing they want to do. They're not around for birthdays. They're not around for Christmases and stuff like that. But they know each other exists. They have love for them in far distances. But that's just how it is. Like, you've seen the thing with Simone Biles and her brother. And what's happening there? They're actually close. You know, but... That's a different situation, you know. This had nothing to do with Simone Biles, but that's why it got national attention. Because of that. So when you look at 
most of these situations where these incidents happen with celebrity names attached to them, you're in a situation where where you say to yourself, oh, we got to Oh, we got to focus on the celebrity and what's, you know, this is the celebrity case. We know that's why it's gotten in the front page of the paper and all this. But let's say this was an incident that happened at the expense of someone else. This incident is terrible. It's terrible. So no matter who she's related to, the casinos, the biggest story is the casino has to do something The casinos have to do something that is definitely 100%. Oh, he made it, in my opinion. But the casinos have to do something to protect the winners. In my opinion, they have to do something to protect the winners. When they probably watched this woman win at the casino, and when she won at the casino, they went ahead and followed her in the bathroom and did what they did, knowing what she won and was watching her. So there need to be better protection inside of casinos. Now, I used to go to that casino because that's right next to San Diego where we used to live over in Rancho Bernardo. Shouts out to Rancho Bernardo, baby. So that's right down to five. So we would always go down to either you go to Kenny Rogers and the Baronas, which was closer. I never liked that one. I liked the Pachanga. So I would always go out to Temecula and go to the Pachanga. So that was my casino of choice. Last time I was there, I won 900, though. So. You know, that's just me. But <laughs> but I, I had fun at the Pachanga. I had a lot of fun. So this happens at a lot of casinos, even here in Chicago at the Horseshoe. Some people get robbed going back to their cars. You know, they look for elderly women or people who've been sitting there winning and doing stuff. Then they get up and go to their cars, and people pay attention. Some people not paying attention, but you gotta gotta be alert of your surroundings. But I think they need better security around the bathrooms or somebody saying help. That there's security around there because that's where a lot of attacks could happen. You know, when somebody went, it's a lot of un, you know, a lot of people just hanging around trying to see what's going on. You know, so. That being said, man, I'm just, I'm happy, excited, at the same time that, you know, that they got the woman who did that. Sad about the situation, but I'm happy that she's behind bars and won't be able to harm somebody else. Her and her friend. Now, you just threw your whole life away for 800 to $1,200. That got to make you the biggest idiot in the world. Because, see, that's the story. The story has not nothing to do, really, with Kawhi Leonard. The story is about the tragedy of the situation. But if they use this as a tool to say, hey, the casinos got to do a better job of protecting the people that's coming in the casinos. You know, no one should go in a casino and lose their life on the property of the casino. That woman's family should be able to sue because there should have been some security by the doors or that bathroom that could have heard her screaming. So, you know, it's, it's a sad situation, but it is what it is. So, nothing to do with Kawhi Leonard, all to do with this woman. But terrible, terrible news this morning.
I'm out.